Hey guys, Buffy Game back today, bringing another video. And today, in our Warzone weapon video, I'm going to walk you through how did we won this game with this really nice Mark 17 build. Now, you may recognize this build that I'll be covering in today's video from the movie weapon series that I did the other day covering the Scar 17 or the Mark 17 in uh, Sabotage movie. So this is very similar. I actually recorded this gameplay after I finished that video. I decided I'd jump into Warzone, make some slight modifications, and try it out. Um, and that's where we are. So I think I'm, I could actually be running potentially the same thing. I think I just swapped out the magazine for a 30 round. But going to go ahead and run this today with Chase, community member here, one of our moderators. We had a really good duo win. So back out here, I'll show you guys the build. And here it is. Really nice Mark 17 build. Go ahead and show you how I built this thing from base. So I'm running the Battlefield Promotion Blueprint here. That gives you the top mounted laser. If you don't have the Battlefield Promotion Blueprint, there is the uh, Mud Blueprint. So you have Battlefield Promotion, gives you a top mounted laser. And then you have the Mud and Guts Blueprint here, which will give you, again, a top mounted laser. So those are the only two that have the top mounted lasers, to my knowledge, for the Mark 17 and for the majority of the weapons of the game. So. You're going to go ahead and want the Battlefield Promotion. Then, for this weapon, I'm running a Flash Hider. So, the 7-4-R Flash Hider. You're getting Muzzle Flash Concealment, Mint, Real Cool Control, Gun Kick Control with the cons being aimed down sights. But you can see you're getting a 13% recoil uh, mitigation here across the board, which is huge. Um, so, that's going to help out a lot. And you get um, Muzzle Flash Concealment. So, you won't show up on the radar, uh, the minimap, nearly as long. I think it cuts the time almost in half. So you are still going to show up potentially on the mini-map there a little bit, but not as much. Next up, I'm running the uh, SL Razor Hawk Laser Light. Going to give us aim, walking, steadiness, tack stance, spread, aim down, sight speed, and sprint to fire speed. The cons of the laser and the flashlight are going to be visible 24-7. Um, so you may want to swap that out if you think you need to, but I was just seeing the gameplay pretty cautious about where I'm aiming this thing. So going to go ahead and do that. Now I'm running the Aim Op V4 gun. This is that micro aim point. Going to give us precision sight picture. Skipping out on the stock, the rear grip. And for the magazine, I'm going to run that 30 round magazine of the 762 by 51 millimeter NATO rounds. And then for the grip, I'm running the Bruin Warrior grip again. Because this is actually a pretty good grip. You can see the pros there. Aim walking steadiness, hip fire stance spread and recoil control with the movement speed and aim down sight speed being the cons but overall you're getting a decent recoil mitigation there good accuracy increases with hip fire and attack stance and your movement and ads speed isn't really hurt that much with this grip over others so i think this is a really nice build and you'll see it perform here in the gameplay really beautiful looking weapon i got a really nice scar Go ahead and back out here, just so you guys can see. This is the sniper rifle I'm running as a cat AMR. I don't really have many uh, good shots with this, but this is what I'm running currently, uh, pretty much. May swap out some attachments here and there, but this is basically uh, my build for the cat AMR. So let's go ahead now, and we will jump into the gameplay for this weapon, and I'll walk you through this duo win that Chase and I had. So jumping in here, you can see we are Shadow Company. He. Chase Shadow Company, I am barbecue here, so we're looking pretty, pretty good. Um, looking like a really good duo here. So just obviously we haven't done a Warzone weapon video in a really long time. So I'm trying to get a nice little format going here for you guys. I like the intros here and the outro, so we'll be doing that. Jumping in here, we landed a little bit outside downtown, just looting around. And here um, we're about to buy a loadout. So um, I'm going to wait for Chase's, Chase to give me his money. Pretty quiet so far. We did a scavenger right off the bat, I believe, here, and I'm going to go ahead and purchase the loadout. So it's a little around 10,000 there in duos, which is pretty nice. And then here we just run into a pretty bad situation. I'm not sure how that guy didn't die because I really lit him up with the vector. Um, this is pre nerf of, of um, a lot of the weapons, too, so the vector should have been pretty powerful there. Regardless, jumping into the gulag right off the bat. So, not the best start here, but. Gulag, we're running the Sidewinder or the ACR chambered at 450 Bushmaster. You can see there, just playing the Gulag. Use this weapon that I really don't love how that weapon is in the Gulag. I think you can configure that much better, which I'll be showing for a future uh, Warzone weapon series for sure. 
But um, here we are, coming back now. What we're going to do here, this is important when you're playing Warzone. Obviously, this is a duo, so it makes it easier with, with a buddy to get him back. So Chase loses Gulag. So now I need to make a decision. Okay, we're going to need money. I'm going to need to buy him back. And then we potentially need to, um, you know, have an extra money for a loadout, depending on how things go. Even though the loadout here is dropping, I'm going to do this scavenger. That way we get enough money. So in the progress of doing the scavenger and... Um, at this point, I haven't gotten my loadout yet. I'm focused on getting chased back, and here I get a redeploy player. So this is a cool addition here. I know it was in Warzone 2, I believe, but I really didn't play any Warzone 2 um, on Almazar. It was mainly DMZ, but the redeploy player shooting it through the roof there on that skylight, and we're going to get chased back. So now we're back in the game. Finish the scavenger. I'm going to go ahead and get my loadout, and Chase still has not gotten his, but you can see here we're in an engagement. So these two players, I have my loadout, and I'm just getting snipes on them and chase i believe has a ground loop pkp which is pretty good and he's going to end up getting it down here in a second so i'm going to go ahead and, and plate up and fall around to chase chase is going to get that down and clean up the player and here we go i'm just going to try and get eyes on the other guy that's still alive now he was moving to the left at this point so i believe he's probably coming up on us at right now is my thought process so he's probably kind of fish hooked around or is trying to fish hook around now you can see there's another guy glassing me that I'm going to go ahead and spot there. And then here's this other guy from that engagement. So somehow he ended up getting me there. I broke him. He was almost dead. Um, and I'm not sure looking at it, I probably should have aimed a little bit higher to the head. But there you go. I broke him. Chase pushed right at him and got the kill and the team wipe, uh, which was perfect. So then I'm going to be able to drop right back because I did get a redeploy thing. So I don't need to go to the Gulag. If I die, I just come right back. So those are also... Um, clutch to have in hand here in the game so fast forward a little bit we're rotating through the circle um to the right hand side or more so the north side of the map and we're, there's a lot of fire here so these buildings in front of me i can we can hear fire there's a there's a sniper sniping out that rear window in front of me to my left he's shooting out back to his power plant and then here's his buddy shooting at guys at the buy station so there is a team at the buy station i'm going to down him and here we go Chase and I are going to engage that guy. His buddy goes to pick him up, and we get the kill. So that's a team wipe. Now we still have another team over here at the buy station that we need to worry about. So at this point, they see Chase. They're shooting at Chase, and I'm getting shot from the rear also. Um, so we're getting shot kind of from both teams here. We're, we're pinched. So not sure where the fire is coming in from power plant. I'm going to take a quick look. Don't see anybody. So, again, I'm not sure where this is coming from. So now we're going to turn our... our um, focus to this team at the buy station so gonna get some extra loot here get what i can and then we're going to go ahead and move up you can see he, this guy just bought his buddy so i'm going to try and push up best i can here and here's the guy that bought his buddy back i'm going to get that down and before i can uh reload or plate like that i got stuck on that those those boards before i could get around to cover to plate and reload before pushing his buddy so i get killed unfortunately because I, I did not get around that wood fast enough chase is going to move in you can see chase running an xm7 or a spear here with a pretty nice looking build here honestly and i believe this is pre-nerf it's still even right now it's still after the nerf really good gun but this is still a little bit pre-nerf i believe um when we got this gameplay so there's a <laughs> there's a uh get there's a, a gulag or a, what is it redeploy thing where they let everybody out of gulag so um, everyone's coming back at this point, including myself, since I was waiting there. So I'm going to drop right back in, get my uh, jailbreak is what it was. So I'm going to try and get my guns here, but instantly I hear fire. Turn around. This guy's engaging Chase. I'm going to chase him, put shots on him. You can see there I'm running low on ammo just with a pistol. This guy's running around, and I'm going to be aggressive on him since I haven't broke and go ahead and get the, that kill. So good gameplay and teamwork there from Chase and I. Fast forward, we continue to rotate, and now we are kind of in the, the uh, northwest section of the map, if you're looking at it uh, in, the, in the correct direction that you're supposed to be. I'm not sure why it's a little tilted here, unless I'm just completely misremembering where we were. Um, so this is where we are on the map right now. Um, the northwest, and you can see we're kind of near that one um, ground war map there. Uh, I don't recall what it, what it is, but you guys should recognize the area. So we have the UAV up. Currently, there's a team above us or to the building right to our, my left right now on the roof. So we have our gas mask. We're going to try and rotate through. We were debating getting that car and trying to move, but uh, not the best idea. So here we go. I'm just trying to watch our backs. I know there's another team there. And this guy, there's a, 
I'm not sure if you can see it there, but the guy did try and run and died in the gas right behind that um, that Tesla. So at this point, I'm gonna pop another UAV to see what where we are in the circle, how we're looking. There's a team in front of me here that I'm gonna mark. And now Chase and I are gonna push this team and we need to take this position. So we have to go right at him. You can see the scar just wrecking that guy and Chase gets the second kill with the, with the uh, second guy and we killed both of them. So that's a nice little team wipe there. Good teamwork. In Warzone 3 here, I notice you really need to stay tight with your team. There's really no 1v3 or anything like that. Um, everyone's usually holding hands, so you really need... It, I'm not sure if it's a good or a bad thing, but I I think it really kind of reinforces team play for the most part, um, which is good. So here we go. We have some two teams here. That guy's a solo. Um, I go ahead and take him out of the game there with a nice headshot. Now I, I whiff these snipes here. These were easy snipes, and this is going to end up being the team that we end up 2v2ing against at the very end here. So they're rotating. I have to reload, so I can't even afford to get more shots on. Um, here we go. Going to rotate through. I probably should have gotten a fresh gas mask there, but I did not. Um, Chase ended up getting one though, which is good. So he has a deployable, that little UAB, deployable UAV sensor that you put down and it gives you a good distance of a uh, short UAV to see where people are. So we can see this last team here. Now it's 2v2. So they took out the other team. It's 2v2 at this point, and here you go. One of them is about to die in the gas. There he goes, and we didn't even notice that, so we're still thinking it's 2v2. His buddy must have been downed or something and died in the gas. Um, so we're thinking it's 2v2 at this point, and if I had known it was 2v1, I would have played this slightly different. But yet again, good gameplay. This guy's smoking, coming through. I'm going to put a trophy down. And here, unfortunately, with that optic, I, I was aiming in the wrong spot and didn't see him, so I... He ended up seeing me before I saw him. He got shots on me, breaks me. I'm going to smoke. Chase ran out of ammo here, so he needed to reload. I'm going to smoke, reposition, and uh, reload and circle around, and there Chase gets the kill. So we, we were kind of shocked it was only one guy. We, we thought it was 2v2. We weren't paying attention to see that that other guy died, so it was 2v1. But a really good win there. Let me know your thoughts down below. What you guys think this is a really good gameplay here with this Mark 17. And again, Chase running this XM7 of the spear. Great gameplay. This is the first Warzone weapons uh, video I've done a long time for how to win a game. But I think I had five, Chase had six. So we had a really solid 11 kill game here for a nice little duo win. Um, great gameplay, 11 kills. And I love the intros and outros here. So this is really great. Let me know your thoughts down below what you guys thought of this. And until next time, this is Buffner Gaming with the Mark 17 for Warzone weapons. Till next time, Buffner Gaming out. Nope. <laughs> You are one tough son of a bitch. No Dude. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck. Look at that end scene. Hell yeah. That was, that was a good game. Holy shit. That was a Dude, real good we, we win. We survived a lot of things that we should have died. I know. <laughs> it was like perfect circle rotation too. Holy shit.